She goes her own way Like I don't give a damn girl And my God she owns it So many heartbreaks Goes back to 2014 And I think that she knows it And if you've seen her I know that you would believe it Cause I I know that you'd want her to Everyone's taking their shot, but missing out on the cut I think she knows that She drives them crazy when she's looking like that The way she's moving makes them want it so bad It's the attention that we wish that we had Yeah, it's almost cruel Cause I want her to Oh yeah, I'm running in circles just to hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking if you just stumbled on my video and chose to watch please join the family by subscribing to the channel and liking my videos and if you are returning thank you so much for coming back to watch my video this is the first vlog on my channel and i am so excited that it gets to be my travel vlog today is saturday the 15th of april and my travel date is on the 20th of april right now my husband and i are on our way to port harcourt to see our loved ones and tomorrow the 16th being sunday we have a flight to lagos by 8 40 a.m we got to port harcourt very late and i couldn't get the moment on camera so the next clip you're going to be seeing will be clips from the Portacot International Airport. So we are waiting for the time. The time now is um, 7.30 a.m. So I'm honestly praying that it don't move this flight. Let's get to the girls very early. So I'm going to see you guys in the next clip. You guys should just stick around and enjoy this flow. You're like a circle that floats around me. Keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet That you showed up was written in my palm You are a statement Hey guys, I had a vision uh, Whatever, they are, they are on the two days one is and I'm really scared. I don't know how it's going to pan out, honestly. I can afford to miss this flight. I already registered for classes. I really can't miss that because I have to settle down and I haven't really sorted out accommodation yet. I met someone actually who is helping me out with the accommodation. So I'm going to explain more better in like another video. This is not the reason for this. This video is a travel vlog. So we'll get into this later. So today we went to my mom's place. You know, I told you guys in my travel prep that my mom was the one getting my food items. So we went to my mom's place today to, you know, gather the food items. The next clip you're going to see is going to be moment in my mom's place. You know, when we're sorting out the entire food stuff, like packing them in, into the zip dog bags and stuff. And after that, we went to my elder sister's shop. She recently opened the restaurant, so we went there to, you know, you know, patronize her and sleep there. So I haven't gone there ever since she opened the store. So my, I took my husband there with my mom, you know, to just go and see the place and, you know, patronize her, like, encourage her. So you guys, if you're in the Ojo environment, please patronize stainless, I think stainless restaurant and bar. You guys, she cooks so well. So you guys should go and patronize my sister. Selling fan, blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tights, you in love with being modest. 
You a mood, body giving center views. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, cover rooms, different vibe, you know ain't for But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try to walk. Number one fan, you say your plug. Tomorrow is um, Tuesday, 18th of April, and we're going to my elder brother's place. You guys, I went to my sister's place yesterday and I was so overwhelmed. Like, I haven't seen my sister for a very long time. So I saw her and excitement and everything. I forgot to bring up my camera. Ha, by the time I even remembered that I was filming, it was so dark already and I tried to film but it wasn't clear. I was so angry at myself. So um, that's it for today. On Wednesday, my husband wants to go and see Mandela's. My husband grew up in um, he was born in Cameroon and then he grew up in the southeast. So he wants to go and see Nico, like Lagos Island. I'm going to be taking him to Lagos Island on Wednesday, right? Today is Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, on Wednesday morning, we are going to Mandela's in Lagos Island. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys. Guys, I'm so exhausted. Today was a very, very long day for us. We went to my brother's house. My phone battery died, guys. I don't know, this travel vlog, the devil, the devil is trying, like, working overtime. Trying to, like, jinx this whole vlog, but it's not gonna work. Like, I'm not gonna let it work. So we just got back to the hotel, not quite long. And then we decided to go chill somewhere. So we went out to chill. But we're just coming back now. So I just want to quickly go to the shower, take my bath, and just lie down on the bed. You guys, I can't wait to sleep because I'm so tired. This girl is tired. So tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow we just have to... I told you guys we'll be going to um, Lagos Island tomorrow. So fingers crossed. I just hope, I hope and I pray that... I'm able to vlog tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Chop, chop, thank you. Chop very much. Big call. Why should I try? I don't come catch up with the special partners. This is a joke.
She do 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 do. she saw that five times. They said they said me should go do. Like saying a psychological test. But then look what I heard. They correct. Like saying a plan. Let me do plan. Let me for all Abuja. Oh. The guy got too late. The bit before now. Just just wait to Nigeria. Too late. I'm going from Terminal 1 a bit. See, old one, old bastard. Let's put the way back where I can sell. I will not keep people back. I think I said that's in my car. Car park. See, I'm people that try to buy a box now. So I think I said that. So I said I will go park. Playing trances. Going off to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by. Losing balance. What if we run? Time and second chances, empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive and get down and dirty. I got the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight. Mm, you got the best of me, you got me losing sleep. I've been hopeful, baby. I was hoping. changed my clothes now i washed my feet because my face was itching me like i haven't taken a shower since it's more than 12 hours since i last took, it, took a shower so i just came to wash my face so i just feel good at least because I, I just want to take my bath our flight for toronto leaves by um 10 minutes to 2 Egyptian time so i'll be here for like 2 hours 30 minutes more so when i get to toronto i still have to stay in toronto for about five hours again so taking my bath is going to be like tomorrow night. So the least I can do is just, you know, pop up in here, wash my feet. You guys, it's not easy. Okay, so 
I have done this. This is settled. So I'll just go back now and see you guys. Wi-Fi issue here. <laughs> it's funny. When I'm set to the I'm gonna give you guys a like a full gist of what happened. It's more Wi-Fi cost to this airport today amongst with us Nigerians here. So so hilarious. Later. Thousand years later. Playing trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive and get down and dirty. I like, got like, the like, bad guy. Cause I can 
part of this vlog i hope you watched this vlog and enjoyed every minute of it because honestly i enjoyed filming every minute of the vlog thank you so much for watching it so i just want to end this vlog um saying a few things like what happened to us while we were in cairo so um firstly i just want to say that nigeria as a country we need to do better because honestly this whole sea finish has to stop eventually like people over the world they don't see us finish to the point that there's no more respect or regard or value for nigerians anymore and it's so so bad and honestly i was feeling nigerians are always stereotypes and in as much as half of the time um, we nigerians overdo things but most of the time we are treated unfairly like unjustly when i got to the airport in ikeja and we were you know wearing our bags for boarding we for checking in sorry so um we were asked like crazy questions like your school fees receipt your in nigerian airport though your school fees receipt your acceptance fee they even asked us to log into our student account just to tell you how crazy this the whole thing was so it was absurd but the one that took the cake for me was when they asked for a proof of fund these are nigerian airport workers like what is your business with my proof of fund so it was really really crazy and of course nigeria is a crazy country and i really didn't feel like i was upset about it because i don't know or i don't think my proof of fund should matter to you you're not an immigration officer i don't even know so that's by the way the main bone of contention here is one that happened in cairo when we got to cairo and it was time for boarding you know i think we were about 25 nigerians i don't think we were even up to 25 but let me just say 25 okay when we got off the plane from lagos to cairo so we linked up together um so that we could you know stay together look for a terminal together and board the plane together when it was time for boarding we were asked to you know be on a queue and then us nigerians teamed up together and we lined up holding our nigerian passports everybody was holding their passports but as was going so all of a sudden it got to one guy he he's a nigerian too he got to his turn and they started asking questions like um your school fees receipt your um tuition deposit your confirmation of enrollment you know all these questions so whenever they were asking all these questions we were like okay fine maybe it's protocol but we were confused because these are questions that are supposed to be asked by the cbsa in toronto so why are these egyptians asking us these questions now like they're just passing through your country right so they kept on asking the questions and the guy became like nervous because no one expected such questions so the next thing they packed us to the corner just nigerians when it happened i was not like feeling any kind of way i thought okay maybe this is protocol only for me to you know look back and lo and behold the entire people there were just nigerians like it was just nigerians that were pushed to the side and we're, and we're being drilled when i say drilled like interrogation more like a visa interview the one that got to me was one particular guy he was supposed to go to halifax and i don't know the egyptian guy whatever there was not asking him why he didn't book the flight through sydney and i'm like what is all this is this even necessary that was when i realized oh this is profiling and i looked at the long line there there were um filipinos there were indians there were um asians on the line and they were just you know allowing them to go in initially i thought okay maybe they were not students maybe they are probably residing in canada or they were on tourist visas only for us to get to toronto and i saw this same 
like foreign students and i'm like these people are also students too because they were like queuing up for the study permits i'm like these people are also students too and why were they not asked all the whole questions that the way we asked why did it happen to just us nigerians it was really really not funny like i have never ever felt like that kind of way before and i know that i have to start to get um getting used to it that incident kind of like prepared me for what is what is to come if any other thing like this will happen to me in the future i hope it doesn't but i'm kind of prepared to face it so it is really really wrong i don't know if it is protocol you guys should tell me when you were coming to um canada what airline did you use and were you guys drilled like this like did this happen to you um in your wherever you stopped for layover did it happen to you because i don't know and the funny thing is when we got to toronto we were not asked any of these questions like they were literally just handing us our study permits it's just crazy and i don't understand if you know things has changed or something like that it's just, i honestly i don't know it's just it's crazy honestly so that's just what i want to just share with you guys i don't know so if you are planning on coming to canada either egypt air or any other airline i don't know just you know keep us informed if let's see if this also happens to you so we would know if it's now like a thing or a trend so i'm looking forward to seeing um your comments in the comment section okay so this would be the end of um the travel vlog i will see you guys in another video and also you guys my bag i'm missing one of my bags i came to canada with three bags but i just have to i don't know i think i have to go to the airport next on tuesday or wednesday to you know ask them because i have my laptop charger in there and it's dead now and I'm going to buy another charger when i have one that works i don't know it's crazy so i'll probably go to the airport next week to know how far so i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.